When you are the apex predator of the sea, sitting on top of the food chain, you are afraid of nothing. Everybody is scared of you. Well, that's just what you thought. Sharks have long been known for their ferocious reputation. From movies to books, sharks are portrayed as cold-blooded, ruthless creatures that attack and bite anything in sight. Even though they are not 100% that merciless, sharks still scare the shit out of people sometimes. I mean, it's understandable. Their teeth, their beady eyes, their enormous size. They literally look like they're from another planet. But fear not, because sharks are not really interested in us. Hold up, wait a minute. In fact, the odds of being killed by a shark are one in eight million. So contrary to their intimidating appearance, most sharks are harmless. The vast majority of shark species present little or no threat to humans at all. But for other aquatic animals that live in the ocean, sharks are something else. Humans are afraid of sharks, so it is easy for other aquatic animals to be scared of them too. Because after all, sharks still rule the ocean. But everybody has enemies, even sharks. So, who's the shark's greatest enemy? Well, be prepared, because the answer might shock you. Believe it or not, it's a dolphin. Bottlenose dolphin, to be exact. Yeah. Just like we check under our beds for monsters, sharks check for dolphins before nodding off. That's right, the toughest kids on the undersea block swim in fear of dolphins. The nicest animals in the ocean. Sounds unbelievable, but it's real. But how come the killers of the sea end up in this funny situation? Sure. Most people may view the bottlenose dolphin as a humble and gentle marine mammal. They are a lot like pet dogs. They're sociable, playful, and curious. They get along well with humans. There are many cases of dolphins helping injured people and other animals as well. But it is a widely known fact that these creatures can be aggressive when they want to be. <laughs> especially when they gather in groups, often called a pod. Sharks are solitary predators, which means they travel and hunt alone. So, whenever a member of the dolphin group is in danger from a shark, the rest of the pod rushes in to defend their buddy. Sharks are obviously aware of this, so they always try to avoid the pod as much as they can. <laughs> But even if a shark comes face to face with a dolphin, it can still be easily outmaneuvered, particularly because of the characteristics surrounding their physical build. A dolphin's vertically oriented rear fin, coupled with its incredible flexibility, provides it with extreme mobility, making it easier to maneuver quickly in a fight against their cartilage-filled counterparts. Comparatively, sharks have horizontally oriented rear fins and aren't nearly as flexible, which puts them at a severe disadvantage when facing a pod of dolphins. For quite some time, dolphins have been known for their intelligence. While sharks aren't necessarily stupid, they just aren't as smart as dolphins. Because of this intelligence difference, sharks can fear dolphins because dolphins can outsmart them. Dolphins use a combination of their smarts and agility to overtake a large shark that might be threatening to their group. Moreover, their loyalty to their pod is extremely high, and they will do anything to avoid a shark attack. This is particularly true for the more vulnerable members of the pod, like baby calves. Another advantage that the bottlenose dolphin has over the shark is its snout, which is stout enough to be used as a battering ram in the event that a pod of dolphins needs to protect itself from a shark. Dolphins can use their snout to land a well-placed hit on a shark's belly 
to cause internal damage, or its gills to prevent it from breathing entirely. And as you might come to expect, this can be fatal for the shark. Many sharks are fortunate enough to get away by simply fleeing from the fight when they realize they are in danger. But if the shark is bold enough to stand its ground, then the dolphins just might prove why they are the dominant creatures of the sea. But if someone were gambling on the likelihood of a shark winning in a fight against a dolphin, well, I'd say they'd lose more times than not. Dolphins have more power in numbers as well as more intelligence than sharks. This isn't to say that sharks would lose every single time. If a shark is fighting or attacking a sick dolphin, there's a chance they could win the battle due to being in better health. Considering that dolphins travel in pods, it could be unlikely that a sick dolphin would be alone. Sharks might not be as smart as dolphins, bird. But they sure are smart enough to realize that a sick or injured dolphin isn't going to be able to perform as well as healthy ones. They simply wouldn't have the energy or strength to administer the deadly blow to the shark with their snouts. So, it's safe to say that it depends on the situation. I know, not everything is cute and beautiful. That's the dark side of nature. And while sharks casually feed on smaller fish and invertebrates, Dolphins are seen sawing and decapitating catfish, creating a shocking scene that even the bravest people have to look away. That's right, they slowly decapitate their prey before eating. While doing their work, researchers came upon a trail of floating catfish heads that extended for a third of a mile, clearly left there in the wake of a pod of dolphins moving through the area. Leaving leftovers isn't that amazing on its own, but there was consistency and accuracy in these decapitated heads that really stood out to researchers. Catfish have three defensive spines in their skulls that they can lock into a socket as a defense mechanism, making them not only difficult, but dangerous to try and swallow. So dolphins grip the fish just below their heads, then twist and shake the fish until the head basically pops off, almost like a farmer wringing the neck of a chicken. Because their teeth don't allow them to saw and cut the meat, so they do this in order to have a safe meal. From now on, let's call dolphins the executioners of the sea, shall we? So, what do you think about today's video? Be sure to let us know in the comments section below. And as usual, thank you so much for watching. Please give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss anything from Wildpedia.